good morning welcome to this video as you can not really see outside yet road season is about to start this weekend i've got my first unofficial road race that i'm gonna ride together with rule the challenge baraki barachi that beat cycling is organizing rule and I are competing it's a two-man time trial of 150 kilometers and it will be probably the first time i'm going to be riding outside on the izalco max again this year so i've got a couple of adjustments that i've been wanting to make to the izalco that i'm going to do today but first i've got something that you guys have been waiting for and that i have been waiting for as well and that's in a package that i've got right here About a month ago, someone on YouTube in the comments pointed out to me that they found me on a picture on AliExpress. So I immediately went out to the AliExpress app to check out what was going on. And it was a pretty big shock actually to find all of the pictures that Mike and I took during two shoots for MAP, one on Gran Canaria and one here in Rotterdam uh, for two different MAP collections. All of those pictures were being used to sell fake MAP clothing. So obviously I did the only thing that was possible, which is order a couple of samples so I could see what the quality was and if they would be worth spending your hard earned 15 euros or dollars on for jerseys that are normally quite a bit more expensive. I went for two different styles just to see how they came out. I ordered the map uh, sort of winter, spring, autumn force jersey, a long sleeve jersey, which is quite warm. And then the other one was the map world's jersey, which is a really lightweight jersey, super comfortable. Actually, I'll get the real stuff. Right, so I've got them both here. This is a force jersey. It's actually Lyon's, but it's the same model as the men's version. The fabric is really elastic but snug and it really keeps you warm. The inside is a bit fleece-like. For cold rides, this is definitely my go-to jersey. And then for warmer weather, I've got the MAP Swift collaboration jersey here. I didn't have the actual world's jersey, but this is the same style. So you have a fabric here that isn't really mesh, but it is. There's tiny holes in it. Again, it's a really elastic fabric, so it fits really well and doesn't you know, create any tension anywhere, which is something very important. Okay, I haven't opened these yet. Force jersey, world's jersey. Let's check them out. Oh boy. Uh, so, this is supposed to be the map force jersey. What you notice immediately is that it's a really thin fabric. It's white on the inside, it's printed, so if you stretch it, it becomes a little bit white. This is really not a good sign usually when the inside of the fabric is white and then the outside is a unicolor because they could have just used a fabric that was one color through and through and then you don't get this white fading uh, when it stretches. White stitching, which isn't very nice on a darker color jersey. It has a mesh panel on the side, whereas this is supposed to be a cold weather jersey. So this is definitely not something that I would recommend for the sort of temperatures that I would suggest wearing a force jersey at. It does say map on the sleeve, but that's about it in terms of branding, I think. All right, then let's just put this on and see what it feels like. Oh my, this fit is terrible. It doesn't feel stretchy at all, the fabric. So my arms are super tight. It's really hard to move. And there's definitely not enough space in the shoulders to sit in a cycling position. If I stand up straight, it's okay. But if you move here, there's not enough space here and in the shoulders to sit in a comfortable position. It's definitely not a fleece fabric. All right, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give this jersey a two. I wouldn't wear this. The fit is just really bad. Like if you see me from maybe 100 meters away, you're gonna think this is map. If you come close, you're definitely not gonna think that. But it just doesn't feel nice. You don't wanna ride in this. Now, jersey number two. Ah, the same brand. I ordered them from different vendors, but it's the same label. Interesting. Okay. So, first impression. 
The color is not that bad. It's pretty much the same fabric as this one, so it's not as stretchy as the map jerseys. No, definitely not as stretchy. Has mesh uh, sleeves, which is a nice touch. All right, so I think because this is a short sleeve jersey, you don't really notice how bad the fit of the sleeves is. I have to say this fabric is a lot nicer than the fabric that the sleeve on the long sleeve was made with. But it's just not as elastic as the real jerseys are. So it's, it doesn't sit flat on your body like, a, like real map jerseys do. Out of 10, I think I would give this jersey 4 points. It's better than the long sleeve, definitely. Because here at least you can sit in a position where you can ride your bike in. Uh, but it just doesn't look as nice as the fabrics that real jerseys are made of. I don't know. I thought it was funny to come across my own face on AliExpress. But obviously I cannot support any company that just rips off another company's work and sells it for cheap. Um, and actually uses pictures of real products and then sells you something that is obviously a completely different product, completely different fabrics, doesn't fit like the real stuff does. So I guess maybe I expected that the quality would be a little bit better, that it would more closely resemble the stuff that MAP makes. That's that I guess, I will continue to wear the real brands and not some kind of knockoff. And now let's go into the adjustments of my Izoko. So I'm ready to race on Sunday. Right, I've got three things that I want to do to my bike today. First of all, uh, I've been running 42 centimeter wide handlebars and I finally got a replacement 40 centimeter wide handlebar. Because of the arrow gains, I think narrower is not always, but usually better. 40 centimeters for me, I think is perfect for a road bike. Second thing that I'm gonna do is take off my chain, clean it very well and Dynamic has a new product coming out, which is a super fast, extremely durable, maximum wear protection, top grade wax composite. It's a mouthful. Basically what it is, it's a super, super fast wax for your bike chain. It's similar to the really expensive stuff that some other brands are selling you. And Dynamic is releasing it next month, but they already sent me a sample, so I can try it out for the race on Sunday. Third thing I'm doing, also, because the bike has been on the trainer all winter, is that I'm going to check if there is still any sealant in my tubeless tires. Especially for this weekend, because there is quite some gravel in this otherwise mainly road route that we're gonna ride. But this first thing, changing the handlebars, is something that I've never done before. I think I've got all the equipment I need and the tools that I need. So I guess I'm just gonna get started and let you know if I mess up. I'm just gonna leave my bike in the trainer because I think it's the easiest way to work on the handlebars where they're always completely straight and not moving. This was a bit of a struggle. Got really annoyed because the space between where the hose comes out of the handlebar and where it has to go into the lever is so tight that it's really a difficult job to do. I think I got it right, but I think I won't do this again myself. So if I can give you one piece of advice, get it done by a real mechanic because then you have peace of mind, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to cut your finger with a screwdriver. I think cleaning the drivetrain is going to be a lot easier. Right, so I spent about three hours doing this, I think. I got really annoyed, pretty cranky now. So, as medication, 
It is a beer by a brewery from Breda, Frontaal. And we have a pretty special collaboration with this brewery coming up in May, I think. So stay tuned for that. Here we go, gonna add some degreaser. And I'm gonna let it sit in here for one hour. It's already completely black. Then I gotta figure out in which of these boxes are my road tires. Let's have a look. I'm gonna use orange shield on it. And it has some kind of a, like a sandy structure in it, so I think that makes it work a lot better than. Uh, just pure latex sealants. All right, a couple hours and one pizza later. This chain is as clean as it has ever been. It really looks like brand new. Look at this, it's gray. Right, that should be it. Now I should let this dry out for around 24 hours and then it should be ready tomorrow for my practice run to see if everything works as intended. So I'll see you on Sunday for the video of the actual first race. Wish me luck and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, and obviously the discount code that they have for Dynamic is still in the description of this video. I think the Speedwax will be released in a couple of weeks. So as soon as it's there, you will be able to pick it up with a 20% discount using that code. Um, stay hydrated. Bye bye.